The University of Alberta just recently announced that they're launching a new mechatronics and robotics engineering discipline, a new program in the engineering faculty. And let me tell you, this is huge. But the thing is, is it actually worth it? And what do you need to know before actually applying into it? In this video, I'll be going exactly over this. Plus, I'll go over some of the differences between my program, mechanical engineering, and the differences between that and the new mechatronics and robotics program. So stick around for that. So here's the deal. Mechatronics at U of A is going to be a five-year co-op program that combines basically mechanical engineering, electrical control, and computer engineering. Think stuff like robots, drones, automation systems, stuff like that. Think like that. Right away, a first thought when a new discipline does drop is what are the careers that are actually associated with that discipline? Well, these are the career paths that the U of A says that you can get with this new discipline. Careers as mechatronics engineers, control system engineers, or system integration engineers that will work on the design, development, and maintenance of advanced systems like robots, drones, and industrial equipment like I mentioned before. They may also advance to management roles such as as a project engineer or project manager overseeing the design, evaluation, and operation of mechatronics systems. In terms of the actual degree and the program, it is actually really good to know that the mechatronics program will only be offered as a co-op program, as a five-year co-op program. There will not be a traditional route for this program. Also, by the way, if you are already in a discipline and you want to get into the mechatronics program, unfortunately, you cannot transfer from your already enrolled discipline to the new mechatronics program. The U of A says that this is due to the unique arrangement and subject matter of the courses in the program. By the way, if you're a high school student watching this, when you do get into the U of A, you get into a foundational general year of engineering. And then after that, you apply for a discipline. That's when you would be applying for the mechatronics program. So you wouldn't be applying right out of high school. As I said before, the program really does feel like a mix between mechanical, electrical, and computer engineering with a focus specifically on mechatronics and robotics. The thing is the trade-off from learning a bunch of engineering disciplines is that you will lack the specialization into each one and you won't have a specific specialization into a certain like thing like mechanical systems or electrical systems like specifically specializing. Therefore it seems like mechatronic students will be looking more at the big picture and the more broader view and looking at the systems overview instead of the component view looking at like mechanical, electrical, and comp E um, components. So it'll be more like mechatronics, high level, and then going deeper, you'll get the mechanical, electrical, and comp E students. And these are basically the words of the Associate Dean of Engineering at the U of A, Pierre Mertini, who also mentioned the relationship between the growing industry of AI and mechatronics, and also mentioning that part of the drive to create the program is that companies often can't find qualified people in Alberta, so they have to recruit mechatronics graduates from Eastern Canada. So literally, they're just trying to increase the amount of people that have that specialization in Western Canada. So now let's actually look at the classes and try to understand the differences between mechatronics and mechanical engineering. I see some overlap with like their CAD course and dynamics and feedback control systems, stuff that we take as mechanical engineering students, but there's a ton of courses that they take that I don't take, like the digital logic design and microprocessors course, sensor electronics course, actuators, machines, and power electronics course, and several algorithms courses, and way more, which stems from the deeper EE and comp E part of mechatronics. So literally this program, takes each aspect from those three disciplines that is directly related to mechatronics and robotics. And then they take that and they make it their own course. So now you know what mechatronics offers that mechanical engineering doesn't, but what does mechanical engineering offer that mechatronics doesn't? So I looked at the courses a little bit and the top two things that mechatronics lacks, which mechies do learn a ton of, is fluids and thermodynamics. And I did contact some people in the engineering faculty and they said that the highest level of fluids that mechatronics students will take is Mech E230. Whereas mechanical engineering students take all the way up to the fourth year course. Now this could be a huge deal breaker to those students that are only on the fence about joining mechatronics and robotics program, just because people that are interested in mechatronics and robotic systems may also be interested into stuff like planes, aviation, or cars, combustion engines, stuff 
like that. And that's the kind of stuff that you won't be able to learn that a ton of if you do decide to specialize in that mechatronics and robotics program. However, if you don't actually care about that stuff, the stuff that fluids or thermodynamics does offer in terms of career projection and stuff like that. And yes, if you are really into mechatronics and robotics, and that seems like the program exactly for you, then I would say that it is probably the best program for you. Now, the reason why I do say probably is that I mean, it's a brand new program. There's absolutely no one that I can ask to ask for, is this actually a good program because it's brand new. And we can really only hope that it does meet those expectations. Also, mechatronic students will not be taking the Math 300 course, the Boundary Value Problems course, I think? Boundary Value? What's it called? Oh, they will not be taking Math 300, the Advanced Boundary Value Problems course which is something that mechanical students do take. Dang, you guys are so lucky for real. Math 300 was crazy. Why is it just mechan? I, I really want to I really want to know why is it just mechanical students that that learned that. Now honestly, as a 5th year student, I can't really help but wonder like would I actually take this course if I went back in first year? I mean, personally, back in first year, I was actually really on the fence between mechanical and electrical. So I wonder if this would be a great sweet spot, like a great sweet spot discipline just right between those types of courses um yeah i wonder if that would have been a good sweet spot for me but the thing is i really do love meki and the stuff that does come with it because meki doesn't really go into crazy depth into electronic systems and electronics i did try to personally learn and teach myself those kind of things through stuff like beginner electronic skits by the way if that's something that you are interested in i'll leave like an affiliate link down below if you want to check that out uh, mine was like the elegu one um yeah, it's really just a nice way to just start learning about electronics in a more fun way outside of school. Okay, but you may be wondering, oh my gosh, I need to get my grades up so I can get into this program. Well, if this is you and you need some tips to go boost your GPA and get the A's and become a 4.0 GPA student, click this video right here. That's my video on how to become an A student and how to get that 4.0 GPA that you want so bad. And if you have a ton of specific questions about engineering school, you can actually book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. I'll leave that link down below as well. And hopefully I can help a bunch of you guys through that as well. Again, link in the description, link in the description. Till next time, Peace out, y'all. Bye. Ow. I just like punched my, I like clapped, but my my ring was there and then it like hit my. So what's y'all favorite color? Drop it in the comments below. What's y'all favorite color?